All right guys, it's prop time. I've had this prop on since I put the engine on a few months ago. The new one's actually been up at Kit Fox for a couple months, but weather and work and then the property stuff's held me from getting up there, but I've got a little break. The foundation guys don't come out to the house till next week or for the house. So I got a couple days. Let's go get a prop put on this thing. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. That guy's going off, and the new guy, which is up there, is going on. New prop is on. Time to go see what this thing's made of. Uh, pretty excited. Right, guys day two we're gonna finish this thing up just by doing a dynamic balance the prop comes factory balanced uh, static at least that uh, the prop is pretty much right there but uh, we're gonna throw a vibe on it and get it uh, perfectly dialed in so this thing just smoothly cruises along it already is smoother than my old prop and uh, man I will say I'm impressed with the takeoff performance. I, I was worried because this thing's about four inches smaller diameter than my old prop. I'm, I went from a 79 down to a 75 that I was gonna be lacking something on takeoff. But because it's constant speed and I can use all the RPM and get up to full boost, full manifold pressure, uh, make it more horsepower. So also with it being constant speed, I can go a lot faster if I'm willing to burn the fuel. Yesterday when I was testing, and, I'm, and mind you, I'm not up high where I'll be able to actually get in uh, a little faster because lower drag, but down here at 3,000 feet, I think I saw 124 mile an hour true, which is pretty fast for a draggy Kit Fox with big tires and big wings, so I'm impressed. The big question is the weight, is that gonna affect me too much that I won't be happy? This thing is 20 pounds heavier than my old prop, which is substantial. <laughs> But uh, obviously there's a performance increase. The question is, is it enough of a performance increase? Right now, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I wasn't having any trouble getting to a full three point with that extra weight, but I do have like the baggage area is completely full in this thing. So with all that extra weight in there, uh, that's gonna make it easier to get the tail down, but time will tell. One thing I will say, this thing just looks good. It's such a solid build and all of the, the you can tell it's the highest of quality MT. Good job, this is a awesome prop. guys it's now the following day yesterday we finished up balancing the prop I buzzed around to finish my uh, little fly-off period and then flew home all of which the fly-off and the flight home were just super bumpy so I wasn't able to get good numbers so that's what I want to do today uh, I've got some GoPros on the wings no 360 cam because I don't really want to stress test that thing under high high speeds until later so uh, let's go up and see uh, how this thing performs all right so I I have some baggage in here as far as camera camera gear and um, my survival bag and all that. Then uh, looks like we have about a three quarter tank of fuel, um, 5,000 foot altitude. I don't know. It didn't sound like the density altitude was that out of hand. So. Let's see how it does. So I'm making a uh, huh, little less manifold pressure than I was making down in Idaho. Not sure why that would be. Uh, 45, 46 inches, right at shy of 5,800 RPM. 
climbing out at 70 miles an hour and it keeps wanting to go faster. Let's see, we're just over 1,500 feet a minute. All right, so with this single lever constant speed prop, basically everything's done through the stock flight systems EMU. So the engine monitoring unit also controls the constant speed prop. And the way that it works, when you go full throttle, it knows that you want full power possible. It'll go up to just shy of red line, get you the most power you can. And then as you pull it back in different stages of flight, it'll set the prop accordingly. So right there, I pulled it under, I think it's if you go under 35 inches of manifold pressure, it drops it down to about 5,300 RPM. If I drop it a little bit more, it'll come back into more of an eco mode uh, for cruise. So the two things I really want to see, how much faster is it? And then how much did it hurt my stall speed as far as increasing stall speed? So I'll just level off here at 6,500 feet. And uh, I'm burning six gallons an hour. We'll start there and just see what this thing wants to cruise at at uh, six gallons an hour. Okay, just over six gallons an hour, 6.1. I'm truing out at 110 miles an hour, indicating about 98, which is pretty good. That's a lot faster than it used to go before. Now let's go ahead and feed in a little bit more power, bring that manifold pressure from 31 inches up. There's 39 inches of manifold pressure. I'm turning now nine and a half gallons per minute. We're climbing, let's see if it can hold altitude. Okay, at uh, just shy, actually I'll bring it right up to 10 gallons a minute. Uh, looks like we are indicating 110, truing out at 122 miles an hour, which is way faster. I got a ground speed of 133 right now, so it's uh, <laughs> scooting along. <laughs> Oh, this is for, for shits and giggles, roll into full throttle and see if it goes any faster. Okay, there's full throttle, I'm burning 11.7 gallons per hour, uh, indicating 115, truing out at 128 with a ground speed of 140. There's a little tailwind up here, but man, okay. It's no joke, this thing's a lot faster with that prop. And you know, flying at the same speed I normally do, which is like 100 true or 100 ground speed, um, I'm still burning about five gallons per hour. So really the big test is the next one. Let's get some altitude and let's see uh, see how this thing handles stalling. One thing I will mention, this plane, just because it has a smaller elevator than certain other ones in its class, um, power off stalls, normally my tail will stall before my wing. So basically it'll have a little tilting forward uh, motion, but the wing's still flying. The wing's still creating lift. It's just the elevator starting to let go. So to get it really slow, I always have to add a little power to get a little extra air over that uh, elevator. So we'll see how it does. I think before power off, I was in the 40s, but power on, I could get it down to the low 30s, indicated. And again, it's indicated. Anyone that flies knows indicated airspeed might as well just be shapes and colors because you could have two planes flying next to each other that both have calibrated air speeds and they'll be 20 mile an hour off. So bear in mind, I'm just gonna tell you indicated numbers. So I'm gonna start pulling it back. Now I'm at 47, 46, this is power off. 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, showing true air speed of 45. I'm now at 39, 38. 37, 36, uh, 35, and there I am, full back stick. There, it actually stalled, huh? Okay. That was uh, 36 miles an hour. 36 miles an hour indicated. Let's uh, put a little more power in and see if we can get it a little slower. Again, I am at three quarters fuel, so I could definitely get it uh, a bit slower if I was a little lighter, I had no baggage. But here's, you know, 4,000 RPM, a little bit of power. There's 35 to the brake. So uh, 35 mile an hour before I was able to see, I think 33, so it might've hit me by two miles an hour, but I'm actually impressed that power off, I'm gonna try one more of those power off ones. I'm impressed at how far I was able to get it to uh, flare with how it should be so nose heavy right now. Okay, there we go. Now it's stuck at like 40 and I'm just sinking. 
the elevator's just kind of doing a buffet thing. Wings flying perfectly, so that's why you need to get a little power in or I gotta get a little bit more weight on that tail. All right, I'm impressed. That MT prop with the stock flight systems EMU being the single lever constant speed control is sweet. That is a, a really clean, really cool setup and I'm super impressed with the performance. I mean, come on. I got a little Kit Fox going 130 miles an hour that still stalls in the 30s. But yes, huge thank you to MT and Stock for their support in this project. I can't thank them enough. They've been awesome. They make some incredible products. Honestly, if I'm giving you guys my true, genuine opinion, I think it's the best setup you can put on one of these, uh, bar none. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you guys in the next one. Peace.